Hey y'all, it's Mahogany Glow here back with another video. Today we're gonna talk about a recent Louis Vuitton purchase that I made. My channel is all about lifestyle, fashion, luxury handbags and accessories, and travel. That's what we love over here. And if you love those type of things too, then go ahead and make sure you're subscribed to the channel, Mahogany Glow. Also, make sure you see my social media handles down below. I'm gonna link those for you so that you can make sure you're following me on all my social medias. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's talk about the outfit of the day. So really today I just have on a plain black um, form fitting dress. It's stretchy. It's got some buttons on the front. I think I got it from Ross a, a while ago. Okay, I love Ross's by the way. But what I love about like it's a plain, you know, just kind of a simple dress or outfit is you can always dress up a plain outfit with accessories. So what I did today is I put on some slides in lieu of what we're gonna talk about today. Okay, so you probably can guess. So what I put on today was my Bumgia, um slides. Um, and these slides are the monogram slides. I'm gonna show you, hold on one second. Let me take one off for you. Okay, these are my Bumgia slides and these are the monogram. And these are the original versions actually. So this has the two buckle straps on it um, and it's pretty like flat at the bottom actually. You can tell I've been wearing these, by the way. Okay, you definitely can tell I've been wearing these. And you know, it's pretty flat in the sole part of the shoe, but it does give a little bit of arch support here, right on here on the side, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little bit of arch support right here, which is actually perfect for my flat foot. So the other thing I had on with those slides today is I had on Miss Brandy. When I'm ever I'm on the go for the day, I usually put her out, especially if I'm putting on something monogram. Um, and Miss Brandy um, is my bum bag, uh, Louis Vuitton bum bag, War Tour version, meaning that it has the black trimming. I'm gonna go ahead and link that review video up above for you guys so you don't miss um, any information about my bum bag and how much I love her and love carrying her because she actually uh, is not only cute, but we can get jobs done on the go, okay? So I love her. So this is what I had on for today. Put her on. Okay, and y'all know I love to wear my bum bags and my fanny packs crossbody, like so. So here we are, this is the outfit of the day. And, okay, y'all know I like to be a weather girl sometimes. It was actually like 91 today, and I'm in Detroit, the metro Detroit area, I should say. So, you know, I'm not gonna complain about the weather. Definitely was warm today, okay? But I'm not complaining because, listen, I'm gonna say exaggerate and say about five to six months of winter it may not be an exaggeration. So we went ahead and, you know, pulled out the summer summer gear for today. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the bum GS slides I have on today, I actually was on a travel assignment. Um, I'm a travel nurse, okay? That's my day job, well, night, I work nights, so night job technically. <laughs> I'm a nurse, um, ICU nurse, but I do travel sometimes. So when I was traveling, um, I think I was in California at that time, I saw a nurse that had these pair of shoes on, the Bum Gia slides. She had these slides on and I was like, girl, are these comfortable? You know, I'm asking all kind of questions because to me, you know, looking at how flat they are, you know, it looks like they're kind of hard, you know, just by looking at them, that they don't look like they're that comfortable, right? So she was telling me they're comfortable and you know, she had her cute little, you know, kind of plain like brown outfit, but cute, you know? So with her little slides, so I'm like, okay. So I happened to be in Las Vegas. This was actually last year. I was in Las Vegas. And if you're familiar with Las Vegas, I was in the crystal shops. And I just happened to be browsing. I'm supposed to be window shopping, by the way, okay? I'm supposed to be window shopping, but you know how that go. So as I'm window shopping, I do see these slides, but I also saw the uh, pillow comfort slides is what they're called. So I actually tried on the pillow comfort slides first and because they're called the pillow comfort slides and I think they're called pillow comfort mules maybe, um, I'm assuming that they're going to be like comfortable, right? But they kind of have more of a one strap Velcro that goes across the top. Now, my foot is more of a, I have an arch, but my arch, my foot rolls when I walk so I lose my arch. So I end up becoming flat foot as I walk. I have to have a certain type of support when I'm gonna wear a sandal of any sort or a sliding that's gonna be flat, you know, semi-flat. The arch support for me was a little too high. So it kind of was too hard in the arch support area. So it kind of made, it kind of dug into my foot a little bit more, right? And it was it was hard for my foot. So I had um, my CA bring them out, client advisor. I tried these on and 
two things I noticed that I was pleasantly, well, one I was pleasantly surprised about, but the other I was kind of confused about. <laughs> but I noticed that these are actually way more comfortable than they look, okay? They look like they're pretty flat, you know, but they actually give just enough support you know, in the in the top of the foot, there's like a little bit of support here where your um kind of where your toes will go, and then also where the arch area is, and it's more comfortable, way more comfortable than I thought they would be. Okay, so I was pleasantly surprised by that. The other thing I didn't know, because this is my first Louis Vuitton shoe purchase, so I'm a 39 normally, and I'll, there's another video, um, my co handbag collection video, um, we talked about you know pretty much my whole collection back here. It's like handbags and accessories. <laughs> And I t showed you some shoes that I like to match with some of my handbags and my accessories. And like in, in my red bottoms, um, my Christian Louboutins, I have to wear 30, like 39 is what I wear. Unless sometimes I have to go up or down a half a size. But 39 is usually what I wear. These are 41. So what I didn't know is that Louis Vuitton shoes run small. Okay, or maybe it's just these. Not really sure. This is my only purchase at that point. So these are 41. So I was like, oh, wow. Okay, glad I tried these on. So what I would say is that if you're going to try a shoe go in the store and try them on just to make sure that the sizes are what you need okay because this is a two whole sizes i had to go up let me tell you as well so i go ahead and buy my shoes okay yep let me have those i actually ended up buying this belt at the same time my uh louis vuitton this is the circle um belt and it actually is black epi leather on one side and then on the other side is monogrammed here let me turn it around it's actually monogrammed on the other side, right? So I bought all this at the same time. Go ahead and make my purchase, you know, come on home. Um, and so I'm happy, right? I'm happy with these. I actually really love these sandals. So these sandals here though, they've actually changed the style of these sandals. So you have your two straps across, right? And you have two buckle straps, right? Two with both will go buckles and go accenting around like the holes where the buckle will go through. Okay, the other thing about these at the bottom, okay, mind you, I wear these like quite a bit. <laughs> so they're gonna be worn at the bottom. So the bottom is pretty, you can't really maybe tell so much cause it's worn, but the bottom is definitely a smoother, it's a smooth flat bottom, right? Although I don't find myself slipping and sliding in these, although it might seem like it, especially when you first buy them cause of course they're like shiny and smooth when you first buy them. But I don't slip and slide in these. So I actually really love these more than I thought I would okay now let me just tell you as we okay move forward I'm gonna put these back on okay because I'm gonna show you like you know just how cute they are one more time first of all let's, let's look again from the side okay maybe from the back okay all right just so y'all can get one more view okay so let me tell you they came out with some more slides, okay? Very similar. And you had to pre-order them at that time. They, they, I think they're add to cart at this moment. When I looked earlier, they were still add to cart. So I had to pre-order mine. So when I saw that they were coming out with more slides, then I decided, okay, I gotta like contact all of my like client advisors and see who can get me these slides, right? Because I need to have them ASAP because I didn't, I didn't know if they're gonna sell out or what. So, okay, cool. You know, I'm looking at um, these slides and I'm like, okay, um, you know, go ahead and like, you know, put my order in or whatnot, right? And I notice a difference. I'm gonna pull these slides out for you. These are my Bungia, um slides in black leather. And actually what they're calling, I'm call, I always say black Ampron is really not the same leather as the Ampron because I have one bag, let me show you. I have one purse here. This is a black Ampron. And Ampron, to me, especially in this bag, this bag is more of a grainy leather and it's it's more of a, it's not as soft. I don't know if that, it's not as soft, but and pliable, but it's grainy and it's a little bit more, like I would say it's like scratch resistant. That's what I'll call it for right now. So the other part of this though, is that with these slides, cause I had this purse in mind when I saw these slides, I was like, oh, these will go together perfectly. Okay, but with these slides, this is more of a soft leather, what they're calling a soft lambskin leather, a debossed leather with the monogram on it, right? So let me show you, there's a difference between these shoes, which is the new version. They've actually revamped this version of the Bungie slides and the slides originals that I have. Here's these cuties here, right? Let me show you the difference. Now, when I got these, they arrived maybe in like a week. Um, let me tell you that 
I did still have to get a 41. I, so the size has not changed. But the difference is there's a buckle strap here and they've changed this to a Velcro strap, okay? Now, I don't know why they did that, but I wasn't opposed to the Velcro strap. That's fine. It doesn't look bad, right? Okay, that's fine. So, and you just still have a little bit of gold here, you know, where the, the strap will have to go through to kind of lay over top for the Velcro, right? So, cool. Okay. And actually, I would say that the sole of this shoe is still, you know, the same as far as like, you know, how the um, support is on the sole of the shoe. Still with a little bit of arch support, you know, still a little bit of support here by the, by the toe area. And so, or the ball of the foot. The other difference here, if you look underneath, so besides the buckle difference here, right? So you got the buckles, two buckles, where this is now a buckle and a, and a Velcro strap versus the two buckles. If you turn them over on this side, on the underside, they've actually added, it's more rubberized on the bottom. Whereas I told you these are more smooth at the bottom, the original, smooth. This is rubberized and it has the Louis Vuitton flowers at the top and the bottom. It looks like, I'm gonna call these V's, okay? We're gonna call them V's. <laughs> um, it has th that design on the bottom, Louis Vuitton Paris made in Italy. That's what it says at the bottom. And this, I think that this sole is a little bit thicker as well. If you could tell here, yes, yeah, a little bit thicker. So they, you know, so they made some updates, okay? Not opposed to any of this, mind you. Okay, let me tell you what I don't like about these shoes because I'm actually gonna have to take these back. <laughs> so I just wanted to tell you guys what's going on because I feel like um, if you like these slides or were thinking about these slides at all, they've actually changed the whole design around and I like the original design better because this Velcro strap, again, I'm not opposed to Velcro, but what I don't like about it, if you can see from this, I actually kind of finagled it. So let me just, hold on, let me fix it a little bit. I finagled it to make it work better. But what I don't like is how much strap this is towards the bottom. So here, like this strap, you see how close that is to the bottom of the shoe? So, I mean, this is the bottom, but this is also where the ground is, right? And as I had these shoes on, I had an outfit on, I had planned on to wear with my Louis Vuitton Mazarine PM. I had planned to wear these with my outfit I had on that day. So, as I was trying these on with my outfit, you know, in the mirror, trying to see how, how good I'm looking or whatnot, I noticed that I have carpet in this room, right? So, I noticed that this strap, okay, like the carpet kind of comes up, you know, carpet is a little higher than maybe a, a flat ground or a concrete. But what I noticed is that the carpet kind of came up to the strap. So I'm like, whoa, wait a minute, because I don't want my strap to be dragging the ground or dragging anything, you know what I'm saying? It, it can't be rubbing up against anything because this is, again, this is a soft leather, you know? And I think that it's durable enough, you know, as far as like just normal wear and tear, but not to be dragging across anything higher than a, just a regular like ground, you know, flat ground. So what I ended up doing was, you know, I don't need a whole lot of room in the slide. Let me put them on. I don't need a whole lot of room in my slides. Okay, but it's situated comfortably across my foot as far as where the Velcro sits at this very moment, right? But I didn't like how much material, even right now, it's touching, it's pretty much touching the carpet. And I don't, I don't really like that <laughs> because I don't think anything that costs $1,100 shouldn't be touching any kind of ground to me in my mind. Okay, I pay too much money for this pair of shoes and it shouldn't be touching unless I want it to touch. It shouldn't be rubbing, dragging, none of that. Okay on a shoe, especially leather, okay? So what I ended up doing was, I said, well, let me finagle the strap. Maybe what I'll do is, you know, still keep it kind of tight, like where it is, because I know it's still good for how big my foot is, you know, or small or whatnot. You know, I could just kind of finagle it and maybe just kind of lay it and like, you know, kind of, and then do like this or something like that, right? So it's tight right here, so that I still keep the sizing. And then, you know, lay it a little bit looser across the top and then lay it here so that it's not, you know, so far down. Now, I'm gonna put these back on, this one particular one, okay? What I don't like when I do that, let me back up a little bit. What I don't like is how bulky this strap looks now, once I've done that. This strap, to me, it is too much material. Um, I don't know, now I'm a nurse, okay? So I understand that there's different size feet, okay? People's feet swell, especially like if you're traveling. I notice, you know, sometimes if I'm doing a lot of traveling um, in the airplane for a long time, in the car for a long time, on a road trip or something like that, then, you know, there's, there's some swelling that might happen because, you know, you might be eating on the go, so you're not necessarily eating the best. You might be eating salty or foods. 
or whatnot. So I can see where, you know, there's some, could be some water retention people might have or whatever, you know, people have other medical conditions. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe you just have a wide foot. So, but I don't think that this shoe needs this much material. I, I really don't think it needs this much material for this strap. So with that being said, this one has the adjustable buckles, right? So I don't know, add more holes. I can see maybe adding a little bit more. I think this is enough material as far as I'm concerned for my foot. But again, if you want to accommodate more people, okay, with maybe a, a larger foot, a wider foot, I can see, you know, maybe adding, a, I can see adjusting this some kind of way where you could add another hole, maybe more holes back here. I can see you could probably add like two more holes there or maybe even lengthen this just a, a tad where you can add two more holes, okay, and maybe make this a little wider however. Okay, I don't make shoes. I'm just saying that there's got to be a way. But what I do know is that I know we don't need this much material on this shoe. <laughs> and, you know, a 41 would really equate in the U.S. size to a size 11, right? So, but I'm a size 9 or a 39. So, technically, a size 39, if I got to go all the way up to a 41, then I'm still at a, really, I'm still at the same size foot. I'm just kind of, you know, having to pick a different size because of European size. That's fine. Or whatever, or maybe because it's Louis Vuitton or whatnot. But a size nine, I mean, I'm the same size. I'm my foot did not get any bigger, <laughs> so I don't understand why we need so much material. And I can see if we're going up to size 12, 13, and we need to add some more strap. But this is the same size foot that fits into this shoe. My same size foot fits into this shoe. And again, even with this shoe, it's adjustable. So I don't ever, I've never had to adjust this. It's always been in the middle for me and it's been very comfortable that way. So, you know, add a couple of, of uh, holes here. That would be fine, I think. But I really, um, I'm disappointed in this shoe, to be honest, because I, as much as I love these slides, you know, I try to change it up. I try to, you know, wear them all the time. You know, I try to change it up. <laughs> But I was so excited for these. Let me just tell you. In my mind, let me tell you, when I see something, a shoe or a purse, I'm like, ooh, I can think of a shoe and or a purse that will go with whatever it is, right? So when I saw this shoe, I automatically thought of this purse. So, I, so in my mind, I'm already like halfway put the outfit together, okay? The other thing is that I was supposed to be going to Essence Fest, okay, this year. But even so, like in my mind, I knew these were going to go with me. Now, when I ordered these, this was supposed to be for Essence Fest as well, okay? I had outfits planned in my mind. I didn't buy the outfits, but I'm just saying in my mind, I already knew because Essence Fest, I've never been, but from my research, there's a lot of walking, you know, there's events, there's, you know, the expo and all this kind of stuff. So I had planned to, you know, get me some nice, comfortable shoes to take with me that would be cute as well, you know, that I could kind of switch up and still be comfortable. So sadly, I'm gonna have to return these. Um, I have not worn these other than, you know, you know, just trying them on in the house and what I'm showing you guys. Um, as you can see at the bottom, you know, they still look good, but you know, I would say try these on in the store and see how you feel about them because, you know, you may be, it may be different for you. Um, maybe again, if you have a different shape, different size foot, you know, it may be different. I, I even put this on with a sock. Um, I still don't need this much room with a sock. Like I, I can still do with less material. They probably could have took off. So right here, there's a LV. They probably could have took it to the bottom right here, to be honest. Because really the Velcro stops here, right? So if you want to go here, let's try that actually. So even if I took it to where the Velcro ends, because I would assume you wouldn't like bring it all the way back here. I mean, you could if you had to, right? But then you could see the Velcro. So if you take it to about where the Velcro ends, let's try that and I'm gonna put them back on. And it's not that I can't, it, it is loose. It's definitely loose. Um, but it's not too loose where I couldn't wear them, but it's not as secure, I would say, as like these. Like, I don't feel like this shoe is as secure. It's flopping around a little bit more, right, with it that loose. But, again, maybe somebody's foot, it might can fit your foot, maybe. And I wouldn't say that my foot is very narrow. I don't think that my foot is very narrow. I think that my foot is a regular size, regular width. It's not narrow, it's not wide. I would say, I'm a, I guess they call that a medium. But, if you have a wider foot, I would say try these now they actually added some other styles there's like a cognac color they have the monogram but they've changed it to the velcro strap but yeah these will have to go back and um i did look it up just before i got on here um louis vuitton has a 30-day return policy i have not had to return anything so i had to look this up okay because usually i've done my research i've you know i actually went into the store and tried these on although they were the canvas 
I don't remember seeing, you know, an issue with the strap. I don't remember that. I was really going there to make sure that these were going to be a 41. It didn't change the sizing on me. That was really what I was going in there for. So I don't remember seeing any issues with the strap when I tried the canvas of this version on in the store. Um, but I, you know, so I call myself, you know, making an educated purchase. Okay. That's okay. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and return these. So there's a 30 day return policy, just FYI. So what I want you guys to do is let me know if you have these same slides, either version, the original or I'm going to call it revamped version, <laughs> um, the updated version. Um, if you have um, any other slides that you feel like are comfortable, we can talk about all the slides. If you feel like there are slides that are comfortable that I should try. Um, I don't really like like the, the flat mules. Um, those are flat. Those are a little too flat for my foot. So I like a little bit of, of support in my shoe. But, you know, let me know if there's some other slides I need to try. If you have any other versions of this shoe, any of the other colors they have. Like I said, there's a Konya color. If you have any other, other colors, let me know. Uh, let me know if um, you have anything on your wish list, you know, because if you have these on your wish list, like I said, I would say go try these on. You need to try these on first and see if this is going to fit your foot good. You know, adjust. I would say I didn't do all this in the store, but I would say go ahead and adjust the strap and see where it fits and see, see where this hangs for you. OK, see how comfortable you are with that. The other thing I want to say is I have some um, purchases that I made recently. OK, so some spring summer purchases. So I have some other uh, reviews coming up for you guys. So stick around for that. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit the bell button so you don't miss any notifications for uploaded videos. Let me know if there's any reviews of any handbags. I don't go through my handbags, okay? But if there's anything you want, you just burn, like burning desire, you want me to review next, let me know, okay? And then I'll also link my collection video, okay? Like and make sure you share. And then make sure you come back and see me. Peace out, y'all. Have a good week. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, mahogany underscore glow. And that's mahogany with the E at the end. On TikTok, mahogany underscore glow. Facebook, mahogany glow. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you so much.